Ah, there I am. Hello. I hope my sound is good. When I don't have anyone here to tell me if my sound is good, that's a bit of a problem. Okay. Uh, let's see. I was running some dungeons. Um, we got a white gate key. I don't know. I think I maybe have shown you a white gate one time. I mean, I think everyone knows what it is except Grimthorpe. Um, so. But we'll do this one. I don't like- I, I like to use them immediately. Since you can only have one at a time. There's no point holding on to them. Phantom Crystal Dimension. I was just call it White Gate Key. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter what team we use because there's no fighting. There's this pretty cat. Oh, he has a badge for us. Let's see. What, what does he have? Okay, power. It's probably the uh, 20 power badge. Okay, we need 20 more. I just always follow the same route through these. Um, yeah, we usually end up right here. This is this is the one. If you end up here, it's over. You either will end up here or you'll get lucky and go all the way to the end. <gasps> Look at this cat. This cat is so beautiful. Like the paw stamp. We have 101 paw stamps. Okay. We've been lucky enough to get the uh, cat the cat room a couple times. Makes a big difference. You get like 20 paw stamps or something when you go there. There's also this girl. I try not to talk to her because if you run enough dungeons, she has special things to say, but I think I accidentally talked to her again after the last time. Um, let's see. No one's here yet, so I'm gonna just uh, run the other lands real quick. Rattle other lands too. That's the one we need to run. Collecting, um, stuff for the bangle that Tiramis uses so she can have more spirit. Rattle region 2 and we want we don't want our minor team. We don't want the foragers. That will not go well. We don't want the story characters. Uh, wait, no, no. We want other lands rattle. Go back. Other lands rattle. That's good. Okay, let's go. Oh, I should put a I'm a fool. I should put a uh, experience badge on. I forgot her name. Foran. I have I have two XP badges from the I think the tutorial stuff from the mayor. I should put one on her. But I have not. I did give her a bunch of XP scrolls, so and I've probably got some more I can give her too to help her catch up with these guys. Cause see, they're in there. They're level seventy now. Mid 70s, actually. They're doing pretty well. It uh, it distresses me a bit to have characters below max level, but you kind of just have to accept that. Uh, it takes a while to get people to level 80 if you don't have a ton of scrolls sitting around. Which we don't. We do get a good number from other lands, though. I think because I had I suddenly got more when I started running it to get her bangle. Though some of them were probably also from finishing the episode rewards. We are almost done with the episode rewards from... Why is it so bright right there? We're almost done with the episode rewards from Ocean Palace. We've um, got 700,000, I think, per uh, pearls right now. I'm not really paying attention to that, though, because I'm currently just working on collecting the black pearls, and I figure... If I haven't completed it by the time I collect 50 black pearls, uh, then we'll, I'll run the Ocean Palace until I complete it. I've actually just been running it with Sheila and characters I want to level to because... Uh, unless you're lucky, you gotta run it a lot of times to get black pearls. And I'm not that lucky. I think I got three one time. Usually I just get one. Nah, I probably got three twice. And then most of the time I get one. Why is my phone beeping at me? Oh, it's giving me a delayed message. I'm sorry, John, I do not care. I am playing another Eden now, and that is far more important. Enemy has disappeared. That's good. We want as many resources as we can get. Although I don't think... Well, it probably does matter for her, um... Dragon... Twin dragons. That has a higher spirit cap, I think. But currently she's at the spirit cap for, um... Summoner's Prayer. No, Summoner's Gift. Summoner's Prayer is the last level. Please, please, please tell me. Okay. 
I ran into three of these guys earlier, and I couldn't kill the second one because it was, uh, I didn't have a full AF bar and I have no one with a good preemptive attack. Victor has a preemptive attack, but it's not strong enough. I need to level and, uh, well, not so much level. I need to do the quests for Filmina AS, because she has a preemptive attack that stuns, which is really handy for that. And you don't need to just hope that you charge your AF bar up again before you run into them again. Which is what I'm currently doing. Okay, we did AF, so everyone's reset. We'll go back like that. Oh yeah, we're back in Japanese today because I felt like it. Actually, it was pretty much I just wanted to see what Poporo sounded like in Japanese. Hello there, Grimthorpe. Welcome. Just running, uh, I was gonna say dungeon. I guess it's a dungeon. Gotta rattle other lands. Real quick. I'm quiet? Okay. Uh, how loud? You know what, I'll just put it close to my face. That seems to- oh, crap. I'm throwing things. I'm throwing things on my desk. That's not good. Ow. Is it better when it's close to my face? It's a little awkward with the keyboard, but uh, I think I think I can manage it. No. Okay, this would a little better. Okay, let's see. Where's the gain? Turn up the gain a little bit. Is that better? I don't want to go too loud either, because that would be annoying. Especially because I tend to get louder when I'm excited, which is bad. I don't like that. It's annoying to me. Hair. What's it doing? I don't know what it's doing. Okay. Uh, we're gonna run over here and fight this dinosaur. It's fine? Okay. That's good. I don't know if we need to kill this dinosaur, but we're gonna kill him anyway because uh, he drops resources that we might need. Summer's gift? Okay. It took me a long time, as in I didn't realize until- oh shoot, that, that guy hits hard, I always forget. The other day that this is the old interface, the switch was here before, and the fourth ability was here. It doesn't matter for, for me because on this account, because no one can have a fourth ability or like extra stuff, because um, we just don't have anyone with that much light. But it is very unfortunate if you farmed light on someone and you just can't get their extra ability right now. It's supposed to get fixed soon, so that's good. Ow, my nose. Although I am a little concerned if my uh, speed badge on Cyrus on my other account got eaten. Uh, hopefully it'll be fine. <laughs> on the fast forward you can really tell they're kind of like paper, paper doll, con not paper doll construction, but like you can tell they're made of separate pieces. They are all animated. So if he moves a little slower, he, well, his leg still looks hilarious, but it's uh, much more funny on fast. Okay, this guy is actually pretty pretty tough because he's uh, he's a horror, so he's a uh, higher level than most of the other things here. He's uh, more dangerous than the bosses, but I think we've got this under control. Sometimes if I get lucky I can kill him in three turns before she runs out of the uh, Dragon Origin stacks. Four turns. Three turns? I cannot remember what I'm trying to say, but it's fine. It's better if I can kill him before she runs out of Dragon Origins and he stops having Lunatic because they deal more damage then. There we go. Also I guess- why am I running four in in the front? He would have said it looks smoother faster. Uh, I think it's just that I'm I, I'm used to playing with it slower. I just made it faster for uh, for all the people who uh, are used to that. Um, everything moves so fast on fast. It kind of well the the little one I think no no the little one still looks hilarious. Why is he like doing that? It's so funny. Okay, back to Summoner's Gift. Uh, she wasn't doing anything because she just gets sent to the back line, which is why I should really. I'm sorry, Foran, but you don't actually have your attacks that are good yet. So I'm gonna swap you with Nika, even though you are a higher level. But Nika is, uh... Nika's got her, um... Long Sword of Sin, which is good. I need to, uh, level up. Not level up. Well, I do need to level up Nick not Nika. Well, I, I need to level up Nika, but I need to level up Foran and get her, um... Her, 
for all, another style abilities because those are really good. And uh, she does not have them currently, which means running her in the front line is not all that useful. I think the raptor pack is over here. We need to kill the raptor pack like a bunch of times. That's why I was running it this time. Now that you're here, I won't keep running it though. Uh, let's see. Lunatic. That deity guardian. Long sword of sin. The annoying thing, one of the annoying things about the raptor pack is they resist water. Most everything here is weak to water and or slash, I think. Uh, they resist water though, which is a nuisance. Uh, but luckily we run Tiramis, so Tiramis has to take care of them pretty much. Tiramis and uh, Victor, they're the ones who do most of the damage here. Oh dear. Yeah, okay. We don't want them to live when they start getting angry because they do more damage. I think I said that before. Doesn't matter. Yeah, we need their uh, raptor claws to level up. Tiramis's bangle that gives her, um, I say bangle, but I think the Hurt's bangle is something else. She has the Hurt's gauntlet. Hurt's gauntlets, uh, give plus spirit. Not sure how much they're doing right now. They're at level three. I think we're gonna have to run this level several more times. Kill the, uh, raptor pack several more times. Probably run around this area until Tiramis runs out of mana, killing the regular enemies. <laughs> and then eat our food so that we can uh, fight the bosses at full full power. Oh yeah, she's only got one, one summoner's gift left. Summoner, yeah, okay, summoner's ritual, summoner's gift, summoner's prayer. That's, this, that's the order. We can't do summoner's prayer yet though. We gotta do her third quest and to do that, we gotta advance the main storyline. Good strats. Yes, I'm very proud of myself. I mean, I guess it's not that. Yeah, see, we get a lot of high class scrolls here, which is nice because you can't get like, treatises here. I mean, this is the hard version anyway, so you wouldn't be able to get them even if it were like other dungeons, but uh... Okay, she's run out, which means it's time for these guys to clear the enemy waves. Uh, running other lands is... I'm pretty sure far from optimal in general, but we can't run- no. We can't run Garulia yet anyway, because we are nowhere near being able to do that. So for now, running other lands is fine. And we need- we need the thing for Terramis. And eventually I'll want to run through all of the very hard ones, even though that'll be miserable, uh, just to get the achievements for it. I don't know why I keep trying to make her do- wait, actually I could have her do Long Sword of Sin. It's an AoE. I keep forgetting that. I'm not familiar with AS Nika. I've never used her before. Because I do not have her on mobile. Well, actually I do have her on mobile now, but I did not have her on mobile when I got her here. I got her, I think it was when I was trying to get Garam, Bar Garam Barrel, I got her. Oh, thank goodness. I was afraid it wasn't going to be recharged and I was going to have to watch it. These guys flee, and they flee. They have a really high speed, so you're not going to hit them unless you've got like a really fast character. Which we do not. We do not have a really fast character. Wait a moment. Okay, sorry, someone was talking to me. Ow! Ow, my hair is poking me. I know there's a chest here somewhere that we want to grab, and then we'll eat our food and go murder the two bosses on this on this map. I do not like these flowers' faces. They scare me. I think it's the smile. Flowers should not have a terrifying smile. Oh, I did it. I did I did the AF so everyone's abilities got reset again. I have it to save, but when you do another force, then it unsaves. Okay, there's nothing over there, because that's just the way to where we came from. Eat our food. Admire the crystals. Go beat up Lord Ukulele yet again. Sorry, Lord Ukulele. But you're, like, the easiest boss here. I have a, the only one I kind of have some trouble with is the Raptor Pack. Lunatic and some nurse gift. These guys are still low enough levels that Tiramis's fixed damage does uh, wonderful. But once we get further into the main story in later episodes, like you saw with um, Celestial Tower, her uh, fixed damage starts to really fall off hard once the enemies start to have a lot more health. She's still good against mobs, but not against bosses. I mean, unless you know, you can, uh, if you can, um, 
just kind of tank it out for a really long time. I kind of enjoy the fights like that, but there's not, I don't know if there's that many of them anymore where you can just kind of turtle. I, I kind of enjoy a slower fight, but a lot of them are just so hard hitting. Bye bye. I like the way he goes, just leaves. Um, a lot of the, the fights, the enemies hit really hard. And so it's very hard to to um, kind of turtle it and uh, just slowly whittle them down. I guess probably if you have the right strategy, you probably still can with some of them. I don't know, I've been trying to fight a boss lately that is an absolute abomination and I hate it. Uh, it's um, called Unseen. We will not be seeing that for a long time. Well, I say a long time. We'll see that whenever we do the Mythos and we will not be able to defeat it. Probably because I don't have the characters I used to defeat it because I did finally defeat it like on Monday I think I finally beat it. I was so happy Because that stupid thing I, I don't mind most most um Most like super bosses they don't drop anything so I don't care if I can't beat them Well, I do care if I can't beat them because there's an achievement and I want the achievement because I am a horrible collector but for Unseen, it actually drops a resource you use to get some stuff, and one of the things you can get with it is a chant script, so I've been trying to beat it for a while for that sweet, sweet chant script. I did, though. I finally got the chant script. I beat it twice. I'm gonna try and beat it a third time just because I can get more of the, the prism dust from other things, but it's so much faster to get it from Unseen, and if I can beat Unseen, then that makes it easier. That is not relevant to this. We, we are nowhere near doing that. And I don't want to think about fighting Unseen in, in here because I hate it. I hate it so much. It, it deals massive damage. And it, since it's a horror and not a boss, it, has a, it doesn't have a set attack pattern. Gotta get some more food. And now I can show you the lovely blacksmith house that I built. Because I farmed up all that clay we needed. I also have properly equipped the mining team, so they are no longer very sad, which is good because uh, they were having a real hard time. Although unfortunately, a lot of the mining team is kind of supporting characters. I guess maybe Samora isn't a support. I don't know what Samora is, but he's also the lowest level of all of them. I'll switch to the mining team actually because we'll probably go in the mine. Actually, no, we'll go in the we'll go in the forest first. So we'll switch to the foraging team, and then we'll switch to the mining team later. Don't worry about Popero being in my story team. Samora over Sephora. I was gonna show you some more, but I just remembered we're on the this team. I'll show you some more later. See, blacksmith house. Oh, actually, before we talk to them, I also built this lovely tavern because. I could. I wanted to build the weapons place as well, but I need an anvil to do that, and I can't build the anvil yet, so I think I need to advance the story some more. I really like Samora. He's a dwarf, and he cooks. <laughs> Which is just, you know, excellent traits a person can have. Oh, Aldo, great timing, buddy. I just finished working on Hilda's- I just finished work on Hilda's workshop. The <laughs> best base builder game. Yes, yes, impeccably sturdy. So much so, in fact, that I have the slight urge to blow it up. Her unique design just makes me all the more sad that she can't be a party member. Hey, don't. I put a lot of time and effort into that thing. Oh, I'm only kidding. I don't know. I don't trust that eager glint in her eyes. If she goes and blows the whole house down, I'm gonna have to make the next one out of stones. Dang, that does suck. Yeah. I wish they'd make, like, a time... I mean, I don't know what they'd do with a time mine part, too, because... It's really not necessary, but I wish they'd make one anyway, and let a lot of these guys be followers. I, I, I love them so much. Ha, huh, not even stone can stop the force of my magnificent exploding masterpieces. That, I don't think that's supposed to be a question. Steel, then. All right, I'm beat. I'm heading back to mine. If you need anything else, Aldo, let me know. See ya. Goodbye. Oh, he's gonna walk very slowly away. I can never remember if he has a unique appearance or not. Like, I think he does, but I don't actually know if that's true. <laughs> it's- ooh, it's time to make some bombs. With the proper ingredients, I'll have no trouble cooking them up here, so ask away. We can now ask Hilda to make explosives. At long last, we can open the second part of the mine. Exciting. 
Let me, let, let me in the house. Gotta go in her house. Does she have a window I can open and close? Nope, she does not. She does have a lot of explosives though. That seems a little dangerous. What kind of explosive tree can I make for you today? Okay, she can make bombs so far. Okay, we'll need several of these. Thank you. Fortunately, we... I was hoping this guy would talk to us. Oh well. Okay, so we can now explode that, but very quick first. I'm gonna run into the forest and do some foraging. Also, I guess we should talk to that lady. But first, first, uh, now we'll talk to the lady, then we'll open the mine. Because that quest appeared before the mine. I also did not improve the foragers. They still have awful gear because the forest is really small, so they don't they're not like in here for long periods of time. The miners have to be in the dungeon for the like mine dungeon for a while, so they actually need to be kind of competent because Tiramis will run out of mana. Although as she levels up, she gets more. Why did I turn on caps lock? I do not want caps lock. I also still don't understand how this is a slug. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Which I guess is something it has in common with slugs. Caps lock calls. <laughs> I accidentally turn on caps lock a lot. Uh, here it was because I was trying to press A and I accidentally pressed it, but a lot of times it's because I'm trying to press shift. I like that I can stand between these two and then just press F a bunch and uh, grab everything. I need to stop hovering my mouse over the over the center all the time. Because when I go back and look at, look at the like uh, videos I save, I'm like, man, that's annoying. But will Rohan, <laughs> Rohan answer? <laughs> I don't know. They, they, they have a mixed history on whether or not they'll answer calls they've gathered. Yeah, you can see he's got default weapon, default weapon. Uh, they don't have default weapons because I actually use them. And Nonold and Palm are are stuck in the back line because I don't like them. Sorry, Nonold and Palm. But Palm is a horrible person and Nonold is annoying. We'll do their quests eventually so you can learn. How annoying Nonold is and how horrible a person Palm is. I love these blue flowers. They, they keep adding more. Are those flowers? Oh, hello. You're Aldo, aren't you? I've heard about you from Rebecca. Thank you so much for everything you did for me. Thanks to you, I... I didn't really do anything. It was all the people of the village who saved you. By the way, I don't think I know your name. Oh, yes, sorry. I'm Sylvia. Nice to meet you. Sylvia, glad you're feeling better now. By the way, did you plant these flowers? Oh yes, I did. Oh, she has good taste in flowers. That was very presumptuous of me though, wasn't it? I'm sorry, I just thought the village would look nice with some more color. No, not at all. They're def they've definitely brightened things up. I'm so happy you think so too. Everyone here at the village seems to have something they are good at. But this is about all I can manage. So this is where you got got to, Sylvia. You can't just go wandering around before you've made a full recovery. Oh, Rebecca, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to cause you any concern. I'm used to being ill now, though, so you don't need to worry. If you're used to being ill, then you should know to rest. You'll only make yourself more ill. I can water the flowers. You go back to bed. Okay, you're right. Look at this nice dirt, not dirt, this nice stone path. Sorry, I'll head back now. It was nice meeting you all, though. This place was such a uh, tragic ghost town. Because she's still not fully recovered. Well, as she said, she's used to being ill. Don't think she'll ever make a full recovery. Although, Henry says that as long as she rests, that'll be enough. Poor Sylvia. But doesn't that mean you should be by her side looking after her? I can water the flowers. Shouldn't be too hard. You go be with Sylvia. Well, if you insist. Thanks, Aldo. Just don't step on any of them. but do I actually water the flowers now? Right, let's see here. These are all such nice flowers. I can't believe Sylvia said this was all she can manage. I bet she's the only one who could arrange everything as nicely as this. Okay, we did that. Time to go make our way into the new mine. Uh, I should probably change to the mining team so I don't run in with the wrong team because I definitely will. Uh, I think the mining team is right here. Yeah, there we go. This is Samora. Oops. 
No, I don't want to remove some aura. Let's look at his picture. See? He cooketh and he hath a hammer with a fork on the end. And also animals for some reason. Lots of animals. I don't really know why the animals are there. He's cool. I want I want five star Samora. Or another style. I don't really care. Use a bomb to blow up the rock? Yes, please. Oh dear, why do we make Poporo do it? He's so small. Okay, into the mine we go. We've made it into the second mine. And I already bought the thing so we can mine uh, iron. Sometimes, I'm not doing it right now, but there's a thing. Hello there, coffee drinker. Welcome. Oh, I walked into an enemy already. Sometimes I can manage to make the cat keep running when we're standing still, and I don't know how it happens, but it does happen. And it's kind of funny. Uh, okay, that's a broken ladder. That's the stuff we just mined. That's some coal. Goodness, this place is infested with enemies. But we will probably need some more clay, and we'll definitely need more gunpowder, so... I think we're trying- I don't know what we're trying to do in here. I can't remember. I guess just explore it. Goodness, why is- someone is being very loud on the deck outside my house. It's very annoying. Okay, there's some more- I think that's iron again? Yeah. I'm not so good at telling the difference between iron and stone. Um, but I think the stone looks less sparkly. Or shiny, I guess. It's a better word. Yeah, this is iron. Collect that. Okay, that leads further down. So we'll uh, we'll come back to those some other time. If I come back, I mean, I'll probably do it when I'm not streaming. Collect some coal. I think we need the coal for explosives, too. Because I know we're going to need a whole lot of explosives. So, and we need the gunpowder for explosives. Just gonna need a lot of exploding. I guess that is uh, part of mining. You gotta, okay, can't go that way. Do we have a torch? We probably don't have a torch. Nope, we don't have a torch. Okay, we won't be going that way. Apparently there's a, something over there to mine though. Oh, here's some more iron. I think the idea is we'll get enough out. We'll get enough iron, and then maybe we can build an anvil. So we can build the weapons place that I will never use. But I want it anyway. For the uh, achievements. Well, not achievements, I think it's episode- not episode points, because this one doesn't have episode points. You get- you get the rewards for building stuff. You managed to get Tiramis finally? Very nice. I don't- I don't know how uh, helpful she is when you're- I say I don't know how helpful she is in your late game, but uh, she can still kill pretty much all the regular guys, so... She's convenient. But I guess she's not... She's no, uh... I'm trying to think of the OP characters, but I can never remember because they change up so quickly. I was gonna say she's no Melissa, but I don't even know if Melissa's the strongest character at this point. Let's blow this up. Time to see if there's something past this rock. Only at 4.5 though, so you have to get some chance scripts thinking of going for Horaeus version for Earth Zone. Yeah. Do you not have oh, the other Earth Zones that are R Mun Munfa? I'm not sure how to say her name. But I don't I don't know which one's a better Earth. I mean I guess better would be kind of subjective because she's a like a Pierce Pierce focused Earth Zone, right? And Munfa's just Earth Zone. Do -do -do gunpowder. It is it is very sad when you have a character and you're like, I want to upgrade them, but you need chant scripts. Those ever elusive chant scripts. I'm holding on to the ones we have here for uh, dear life. Not really. We're probably going to use them on Azami, Serin, and Ariu. Another place where we don't have a torch. We haven't even started the fights for uh, Serin and Gary, you though. We should be able to, I think, though, because we def we did IDA one, so I think Sarian's available now. 
Munifa is more of a support, while AS Tiramis can boost damage of specific characters quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, I... On mobile. On mo mobile. I always say on mobile, because my main account is mobile. I, um... I have AS Tiramis. And I pretty much... I don't think it's ideal, but I pretty much just use her to boost uh, AS Seal. Because I actually know somewhat how to use AS Seal. Oh no, I need a bigger explosive. I don't have a bigger explosive. Back up we go. Do, do, do. That, and I guess Tiramis is good for, um... That works, her end of turn buff is also good with power and speed. That's nice. Do, do, do. I did finally get these guys better equipped. So they are less sad. I also, <laughs> I realized Rika was still a three star. So I, um, I made her a four star because I had the tome. I'd just forgotten to do it. So she's not quite so sad anymore. Okay, we don't have any torches for that stuff. So we're gonna go. Uh, I don't know if, I think we may have used all our small explosives. So I think we're just gonna go back and see what we can do with our iron. Maybe we can talk to the, uh, the mayor. Good old Mayor Marlowe. It does make me a little sad to, uh... Okay, yeah, we're out of explosives. It makes me a little sad to use Nomar because he's max level now, but... We need the resources, so we gotta use him. And anytime I could be leveling another character, I'm always like, oh, I could be leveling someone. Popo is gonna hit max level soon, too. I've been trying to level him up for, um... Because I'm gonna have to run the Celestial Tower eventually when I finish the... Dragon Palace. I've been putting it off. <laughs> I was like, I think I think it'll be easier once Tiramis is stronger. Okay, yeah, there's a quest over here we can do. First, I want to see if I can make that anvil. Do you make the anvil? She does. Safety hat with light. Ooh, more coal. Goodness, we're gonna need a lot of copper ore for that. How much copper ore can we make? Okay, that much. Or copper ingots. Make a bunch of copper ingots. Make a bunch of iron ingots. There we go. Oh, we had a perfect number. It worked out beautifully. Now I can build this anvil. Thank you. Oh, we can make lanterns now, finally. Goodness, five to Why do you need five torches for one lantern? That doesn't even make a sense. I am offended by this. Okay, there's a quest right here. Ah! She's out with her flowers again. Whoa, Sylvia, did you really plant all of these by yourself? Oh, hello, Aldo. I just wanted to do something useful. They are so pretty. Right? But this is amazing. It feels like the whole village is blooming. The mayor was also kind enough to say so. He said it brought color to this bleak village. Four of the torches are used for the lantern, then one torch is used in the lantern. <laughs> it makes me happy to think that I've been helpful even if it's just with flowers. Although, there you are. I've got something to show. Dot dot dot. Huh? What's up, you two? The flowers. Oh, did I step on some? S sorry about that. Came over here in a rush. No, it's fine. I, I don't think it's fine. Is she mad at me or something? Well, that was the flower bed she had been tending to. Oh, right. I'll have to say sorry when I see her next. Ah, oh, Terry. You poor, poor silly lad. Let's see what the mayor has to say at the moment. I'll probably just need to venture. With this, we'll finally be able to investigate the second mine. Although, I'd hate for you to get in trouble down there. Make sure your equipment is in top shape before heading out. You're always welcome back whenever you get tired from all that brave exploring. With the increasing number of residents, there always seems to be something going on, so you should try talking to them. But I've talked to them. There's nothing going on now. Need some torches. Need explosives. Which means I need... Darn it, why is the land the window shades like right behind him? I always click on them instead of him. String. Okay, yes, we need a lot of string. 
because we need it for explosive. You know what? I can hold. I figured out I could hold down the button right when it stopped mattering. Okay, get some of that. I forgot that I need raw cotton for torches. That's unfortunate. Okay, we'll just uh, pop over in here and hope that the uh, forest has reset since we were last here. Back to the foraging team. The foraging team is not well equipped because the forest is small. I think I already said that, but uh, it bears repeating that I don't care about their well-being, apparently. Loot it all. There we go. I do appreciate that a lot of these things are close together, so you can kind of just do them all at once. Why must the forest be so small? I guess you can, you know, you can just do a run and then, like, if you start at the beginning of the mine, I swear by the time you finish running through all the mines, once we have all the mines, like, the beginning has already long respawned. I guess by that point, though, you don't necessarily need as much from the first mine. Because, like, there's no iron in the first mine. Okay, that hadn't respawned, and then it did. Or maybe I just didn't see it. Very strange. Okay, now we should be able to get some torches. Need some torches so we can continue our journey into the second mine. Kill these uh, forest wildlifes that got in our way. As you do, I guess. That's that's what I've learned from playing games, is forest wildlife. How fast does this respawn? Forest wildlife gets in your way and then you just have to murder it. Doesn't really seem to happen in real life, thankfully. I've never been attacked by, like, squirrels. Bunnies. Uh, what other wildlife exists? Groundhogs. They're very skittish. At least the groundhogs I've seen. Okay, now we can get some torches. And, I guess a ladder and some explosives. Things we'll want. Well, I don't know if the ladder is necessary. That's probably just an alternate area. So we'll get like, yep. 10 torches. Yes, very fancy. I know we've got some rope, so that's good. And we'll need to grab a ladder. I just said that. No, we're gonna skip the ladder for now. That's probably not important. We're gonna grab some explosives. That probably is important. Hello there. Can you make the big explosives yet? No, you cannot. Okay, we don't need torches for these, at least. Copper, string, gunpowder. Okay, let's just make as many bombs as we can. There we go. Back into the mine. Uh, the new mine. Yep, there it is. I think we've uh, pretty much explored... We haven't explored all of the first mine, but there's just some optional passages left that pretty much needed explosives. And one that needed a lantern to get to. You know what? I need to know what's back here. I can't help it. Oh no, I've got the wrong team. But luckily we're right at the entrance. So we can swap back to the correct team. I realized when I was like, wait a second, that isn't Popero. Should probably switch it. I feel bad. I feel bad for making Popero do the exploding here. Rika, you can you can light the bombs instead. You're tough. I know it doesn't matter, but for some reason it still matters. Okay, just a prayer script. That was all that was back here. Not really important. Okay. We'll go down to the next level. I think we're trying to we're trying to find the monster at the bottom, but that might be not here. Because we still got a bit of uh, a bit to go. Forgot to eat. Oh well. We will be fine. Do. Let's see. Oh, this is where one of the torches can go. Oh. Goodness, I swear, the, the enemies are very hostile in the mine. Maybe it's just when you don't want to be attacked, you feel like you're attacked way more often, and then when you want to farm them, you're like, where are they? Okay, this is a very bright torch. Some iron. Thank you for your bonus, Samora. Do, 
do what was this was this okay this is another torch so we can dump that in there find out what's over there hopefully it's some more iron use some more iron click 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 yes goodness the time mine just it, it eats through your resources so fast oh, that's a chest okay money that's nice we'll we'll need that money for fishing i guess and uh, other stuff. So uh, I didn't I didn't use up all my money on weapons early on, but I don't think that's been a problem for a while now. The amount of money we get evened out. Okay, so we still have the big, well, the big Lucky one. Night. Okay, so I can't get through there. I forgot we don't have the big bomb yet. What am I supposed to do? Uh, no, no, I don't care about the minecart. Oh, okay, we've completely explored this part, I think. Yep, we completely explored this part, so I guess we'll completely explore the first part? See if there's something there. If not there, I guess we'll go back to the first mine and see if there's something we're missing there. I just, I just wanna, I wanna make a bigger explosive. Why is that, why is that too difficult? Front area. Goodness, there's a lot of uh There's a lot of like alternate pathways on these little mines. Okay, nothing there. Okay, let's see if I can get the cat. Nope. I wanna see if I can do the thing where the cat runs while I mine. It's kind of funny. Alright, we ran out. Okay. Swap. Do you okay you have an AoE? Do you have an AoE? You do not have an AoE, so you will just smack. Now that they're actually properly equipped and leveled, they uh, aren't so sad. They're no tiramis, but wait, I did it, I did it. Watch. Oh, it's, it didn't happen that time. Let's see if I can get it to go over here. Oh, I don't know how I make it do it. Sometimes the cat will just keep doing his running animation if I- I think it's if I'm running and I start collecting the stuff. Okay, we'll just let you guys do that. If I'm running and start doing the mining without stopping running, I think maybe that makes the cat think it should still be running even though everyone else stops. Good work, Popero. Take them down. I know you are but a sad... A sad three star. Not three star. A sad four star. Okay, we need a ladder for that. And that makes me very sad. I would like... I would like five star Popero. Probably gonna use him anyway. I want to. Forgot to change her. Oh, well. I mean, actually, it is worse here. Tiramis, I'm gonna actually set you to just uh, backline yourself. There we go. That's good. Okay, two ladders. We need two ladders. And then we'll know everything that's on the first floor of the new mine as well. Okay, she's got enough MP again. Kill them all, Tiramis. Don't let the little people have to work hard. Let them have a break. I say have a break. They pretty much always get a break. They only ever have to work when Tiramis is out of mana. Okay, first, firstly, we will run to the inn. Where is the inn? There it is. It's that heart. Ooh, there's something over there. Okay. I'm not wandering in the dark anymore. I've found a quest. Come on. Let me let me go look at the quest. Why does why does resting have to take so long? Let me go. This is why I like the um the fruit tree by the uh, another dungeon door. Ah, it's more of her stuff. Hello, Sylvia. Into the whispering forest he did wander. Sylvia stands motionless looking at the forest. She seems to be worried about something. Time to resolve whatever she's worried about. Sylvia, what are you doing here? Is something wrong? 
Oh, Aldo. Yes, actually, Terry hasn't come back since he left this morning. What? He's been out there by himself the whole time? That's right. If you have time, would you mind helping me look for him in the forest? Of course. We should hurry and just hope he hasn't run into any monsters. She probably shouldn't be traipsing around the forest, but, uh... Certainly. These... These are like tiny trees. Oh, they're adorable. If we're going into the forest, we may as well swap over to the forest team. Time to go find Terry. Okay, he's over there. Presumably. Let's collect the raw cotton so I can make string and torches. I guess the raw cotton respawns faster? I don't know. Oh, under attack. I guess we will be able to help Terry whenever we stop being under attack. Silva's so fancy. Look at him. He's such a fancy man. Terry, are you out there? BRB? Very cool. Terry, where are you, Terry? That's odd. I would have thought we'd have found him by now. Where could he have gotten to? I do hope he's not hurt. That would be worrisome. Maybe we passed by each other somewhere and he's already headed back to the village. I do hope you're right. Ah. Over there, Aldo. Look, right between that thicket. Ooh, more forest? Where? There? If you crash down, you'll see what I mean. Hey, it looks like there's an opening we can pass through here. Um, it must be the very same one Terry was telling me about earlier. He called it his secret forest route, or something to that effect. Well, let's see if he went through here. We can now explore further into the forest. Oh goody, because the forest is kind of small, and uh, I would like more forest resources, please. Click, 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 click. Search for Terry. This is why you always run into the walls. Sometimes what looks like a dead end is in fact not a dead end. Okay, I'll need a better axe for that. Where's that go? I guess I'll look in a moment. Terry appears to be asleep. That doesn't seem good. I've come to save you, Terry. I don't know if you require saving, but we're here to save you anyway. Arg, damn it, why was I so careless? Terry, are you okay? Aldo, boy, am I glad to see you. And Sylvia, didn't want you to have to see me in this sorry state. Are you injured? I twisted my ankle when I was fell in a tree. A sprained ankle needs immediate attention. Here, I'll take care of it. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, come on, it doesn't hurt that bad. I'm sure you can bear it for a moment. I'll go get your logging equipment for you, Terry. H hey, listen, I'm sorry for stepping all over those flowers of yours the other day. Th that's okay. I shouldn't have been so rude to you. I'm sorry. This must be his axe, right? Huh? There's a small flower with a footprint beside it. Was he standing here awkwardly just so he wouldn't trample all over this flower here? Kitties, what are you doing? Heh. <laughs> I've got a feeling those two are going to get on just fine. Quest complete. I guess we're in the uh, Sylvia quest chain now. I guess we'll need probably an iron axe to uh, collect the tree stuff here. At least it doesn't uh, mark them as collectible when you can't collect them. Which is most uh, courteous of it. Under attack again. Take care of it, Tiramis. Ah, Tiramis, you're wonderful. Okay, that is actually a dead end. Go down here, check out what's over here. More cotton, another tree we cannot fell, and that I accidentally clicked on. Let's see. Oop, under attack. 
like the forest. It has a very peaceful look to it. Eh, except, you know, when you're being attacked by abominations. Well, the tree trunk guys kind of fit, but the other guys, they're terrifying. Okay, not much down here. Where does this go? Does this go back to the back to the other part, or is this another part of the forest? Okay, it's just a chest that's hidden over here. It's a chest with money in it. Probably someone put it there at some point. Hopefully they don't need it anymore. Because it's gone now. Much like anything else that the game will let me put my little grubby hands on. It will belong to me. Pretty flowers. Okay. We'll grab some more wood, because we'll probably need it to get a better axe. Terry, I think, should be able to make us a better axe, because he's the one we got our better mining tools from. Come on. The downside of time mine... Well, I mean, I, I really enjoy time mine, but I imagine it's not the most fascinating for other people to watch, because a lot of it is just running around and collecting resources. I tried to do a lot, but there was only so much I could do because I didn't want to do anything after I finished building the blacksmith's house, because I didn't want to talk to them. Or not the blacksmith, the, uh, the bomb technician house. I didn't want to advance the story then because I wanted uh, you to be. I wanted to, be, to do it for all of you people. Iron felling axe. Yes, that's what we want. Okay, now we can build that. Okay, we need more iron ingots for the felling axe. We're gonna build that. Oh, now I gotta go find Terry out in the world because I need that ladder. What do I need to make a ladder? Where is Terry? These are important questions. Is he over here? Nope. I feel like something should be over here though. Maybe someday. That. Okay, we've got the bridge that's broken. Maybe over here? Terry, where are you? Terry the, platyp the platypus. <laughs> I guess. I mean, he is missing. I don't understand. Okay, it, it just squishes in right next to this. Man, those buildings are going to be close together. I want you to build a ladder, please. String. Okay, I need string. Go grab a, uh, a string. Darn window. I do not need the window. I need some string. You know what? Let's just go for 15 strings. Couple more torches. Actually, a couple more strings. We need two left. Oh, okay. Brought a raw cotton. Never mind. No more string. Let's see if we can get two ladders. Please, Terry. I want ladders. <gasps> two ladders are available. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. Gotta visit Rebecca to get some more ingots. Oh, hey. Sylvia lives in here. I'm relieved I was able to apologize to Terry, although I do wish he wouldn't act so recklessly. Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to go inside. I need to talk to Rebecca. I love how much ore she has in her house. I'm jealous. Iron ingots. How many can we make? 27. I think we need 50 for the iron axe, so uh, we're getting there. Hmm. I don't think we need the iron furnace yet. Because we can't smelt anything higher than iron yet. Because we don't have anything higher than iron yet. And now, in a very important move, I will remember to swap my team. The entrance to the mine kind of looks like those things where they made, um... I've seen them before. They made something with coal in them. Like burned stuff. And they blocked up the entrance. Goodness, if only I remembered what on earth it was I saw. I went with my mother and saw them, and she would know what they were, but I have forgotten because I was just there to ride in the car because I like riding in the car. Use ladder. There we go. Beautiful. Now we can go loot the upper level of the reeling area. I don't know how they come up with the names for these areas of the mine. Okay, you guys don't need to do anything because Tiramis is uh, got mana again. Has got mana. 
I love this dragon. He's purple and he's made of sand. It's just a very cool, very cool design. Though he occasionally makes me think of the sandworms in uh, Rukiana. And that makes me very sad. I do not like the sandworms in Rukiana. Ooh, cool. Collect that. Okay, one of our torches will come in handy here. Don't know how we get to the point where we can use bigger explosives. Because we need the medium sized explosives for some of those. But I guess we'll explore everything we can. No, I know it's too dark to go on. That's why I want to put a torch. Let me do the torch! Lead the way, Salasa. Okay, he doesn't get to lead the way. Murmur script times five. That doesn't matter all that much. Uh, I don't think we'll ever really. The only time we really were short on murmur scripts uh, has already passed. It was when I was trying to get Cyrus to four stars. Uh, we've been able to run dungeons for quite a while now, so. We don't really have an issue with that anymore. Gunpowder. Very good, very good. Down we go. Okay, let's go to the other one that can have a ladder. Hopefully we'll make some kind of discovery over there. Because that seems to be the only thing to do. I mean, I guess, I think maybe the quests in the town kind of just pop up as you, you go do battles and you come back and then there's new quests you can do. I, that's how a lot of the town progress progresses, is you have to go fight for a bit and then you can do things again. Yes, I would like to put in the new ladder. There we go. Okay, this is just a different part of that same area. Nothing over there. This is actually a bigger area than the other part. Okay, that one has no lantern at all. So we'll have to make the lantern. Which is a pain, because the lanterns require like five torches, as previously discussed. We'll, go, we'll need to get some- well actually I think we have a decent number of torches right now, so. We'll have to- I think we need iron for the lantern, so. Should be- should be manageable. We've got some iron- it depends if it's ore or ingots. I tend to turn everything into ingots and then I don't have- then I need ore and I don't have it. That's that. Okay, that's on the other side. Okay, we need to get through this area with this lantern, I think. I think there's something over there we want. So we'll need to build a lantern. I hate these slugs. They are terrifying. They are a little purple. That, that's the only good thing about them, is the purple. The purple is good. The rest is not good. The rest is scary. And bad. Okay. We are making some pretty good progress through the mines, I think. I, uh, I did a lot of collecting of resources last time so I could build all the buildings. I say last time, over the, over the last week. We need a lantern. I think she builds the lanterns, maybe? Do you build the lanterns, Rebecca? Please tell me. You do. Okay, we need copper ingots. That is not enough copper ingots. I guess we gotta go back into the first mine. Oh, goodness. Time mine is indeed a mine that takes a lot of time. I don't think that's what they were going for, but that is what it is. Time for some copper. Also, oh. Do we have an explosive? Let me through. Yes, 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 yes. I want to know what's back here. Is it gold? I hope it's ore. But a lot of these have chests of gold. Oh, there's a ladder. There's some iron. Nice. We don't have any more ladders, so we can't check that out. I've been working on opening up the entirety of this one, but I couldn't do anything about the explosive areas. Or I think there's an unlit lantern on the lowest level. Not an unlit lantern, a missing lantern on the lowest level. So we'll finally be able to replace that as well. That is stone. Uh, we're going to need stone eventually, so I should probably collect as much of that as I can. We're also going to need a bunch of iron. Or not iron, copper. We need the copper for our lanterns. We need... At least two. Let's see. Okay, get those. Collect. I'm not sure what's up here. I think there's maybe some copper up here. 
Well, there's several things up here, so we may as well find out what they are. Coal. And stone. Neither of those is copper. Very disappointing. Lean forward too much again. And also this stupid background is letting in the sun. Oh, fine. I guess you'll just have to look at the corner of the cat stand. I guess I could adjust. Ooh. There we go. That's slightly better. It's gotten a bit chilly of late. That's why I've got a coat. So that I don't get cold. Although, actually, it's warmed up a bit now. Ooh. Excuse me. Where is all the copper? And is this- this is probably an explosive, otherwise I would've- I would've already opened the way here. Luckily as Tiramis levels up, she gets more and more mana. Like, I don't even always have to eat food at the end of the Ocean Palace dungeon runs. I am curious if we'll collect 50 black pearls before we, uh, hit the- the maximum number of pearl- regular pearls needed. Atlantis pearls, I think they're called, for, um, the episode. Goodness, there's just ladders everywhere. But uh, it'll be close either way. I know we have at least 40 black pearls. We might have more than that. Probably do have more than that, but not a lot more. We need 50. 50 black pearls, and then we get the Otohime Trident for uh, Sheila. Which I will equip on her no matter how bad it is, because it matches. And I care deeply about that. Ow. My neck made quite the popping sound. Is this copper? Nope, this is coal. Come on. At least uh, now I'll be able to get a lot more mining done. Probably won't be working on the time mine tomorrow. Because the time mine is so slow and just resource gathery. It's uh, not the most fascinating. I'll work on gathering all the resources. This must be where that unlit lantern is. Nope, it's another uh, explosive. Okay, we'll explode it then. Time to find out what's past this rock. I'm not really sure why they couldn't just climb over it. Uh, I, I would think that would be possible, but uh, who am I to question them? They can't jump after all. They are tragically stuck in a video game without jumping. Though I guess it's it makes more sense in, in games that aren't games that are first person or third person and you can't jump. It causes me deep stress because I just want to jump all the time for no real reason. And sometimes I get bored of it, but I need to be able to jump. In real life I can't jump everywhere because I get super tired, so you know. That's the escapism I look for in video games. The ability to jump everywhere I go. Um, I have no idea what I'm rambling about, to be honest. Ah, uh, there we go. I want to build this lantern and see what's at the, that level, because I'm very curious about it now. And then we'll probably do something else. I'll, uh, I'll have you decide what we'll do. Because that is fun for me. Otherwise, I'd probably just play through the story in order and kind of ignore some of the side quests or side episodes that I don't care about so much. But I shall play what my viewers wish me to play. There we go, copper. There's not even that much copper here, but I think I think we've probably got enough by this point. And I'm using up all my explosives, but that's fine. I made a bunch because I knew I'd need a bunch, and I'll need a bunch more yet. Need so many explosives. I am sad we didn't get to do any. Uh, you don't get to. You don't get to do any fishing with them. Got to, got to intertwine the episodes. You know, let you uh, let you, let you do your uh, fishing with fishing with explosives. Do do do. Now we can find out what was back here. Chest. 
one high class scroll. Well, we'll feed that to Foran, but honestly, that's not a particularly good reward. But I guess it is just a little side area to check out if you want. It's very optional. Tinguri. <laughs> no more pain sound is kind of hilarious. And Rika sounds strange in Japanese, just like she does in English. I guess it's because she's supposed to sound kind of like a robot. And now, I'm going to... This is how I like to travel out of the timeline, but... It's a bit slow. Because of the map loading. Come on. Come on. Mining village. Why can't it call it Horai? It has a name, map! The village has a name! We need to do some sleeping. So that we have mana again. MP. Click, 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 click. Saying click does not make it click faster. But I can dream- Oh! He already finished building the weapon place. Fancy. Ooh. Another quest to do. I guess you kind of just do excursions into the mine. Huh? Uh? Oh, hey, Sylvia. Did you have something you wanted Terry to make for you? Oh, um, well... I- I have to be somewhere. Excuse me. What was that all about? Oh, I thought I heard somebody talking. Hey, Aldo, where'd Sylvia go? Hey, Terry, she was here just a second ago, then she ran off somewhere. Her face looked really red, though. Wonder if she has a fever or something. Nah, I don't think it's a fever. She was fine just a moment ago. I don't believe it. She Is she still acting shy? Shy? Why would she? You don't know? We started dating a while back. Dating? Like... What? You and Sylvia? Yeah, it's kind of a long story. I never thought you two would be a match. But I'm glad for you guys, as long as you make each other happy. Haha, <laughs> that we do. I ain't ever been happier. You can bet I'm gonna make sure Sylvia's always happy too. Ahaha, ha, good for you. Well, I gotta get back. Come talk to me if you got any work for me, alright. Yeah, okay, every time we venture into the mine and fight enemies, it, it uh... Guess opposites really do attract. I'm still surprised, but now I think about it, they do go well together. All the more reason to make this village the best it can be, for those two and everyone else's future. Yeah, it passes, it basically passes time so that new quests, new talky things pop up. Huh, like this. Hello, bard. Do you have something to talk about? Yes, you do. A song for two. During a visit to the bard's house, Aldo finds that Henry has some serious composer's block and wonders if he can help. Yay, doing quests. Feeling useful. Look how fancy the bard is. Oh, how the eternal struggle of the artiste arrest my, arrests my soul so. Whatever will I do? Huh? I don't think Aldo understands your words. Oh, traveler. Mayhap the fabled tales of my honeyed words were the winds that carried you to my door once more. Why is Amy here? Er, not quite. You seem a little down at the moment. Something wrong? Uh oh, you saw that? Sigh. I'm suffering from a spot of writer's block. I have to come up with something quickly. I feel like I'll never write again if I don't. Oh yeah, I forgot you were a bard, Henry. You really helped us out with your poetic skill before. Always happy to see my art aid others, but I fear the last time may have been just that. I can't- I just can't compose anything good anymore. So that's how it is. We're in no rush for any new material, so just take some time off and I'm sure the inspiration will come right back to you. Hey Aldo, what if we give him a hand with his new material? I've always wanted to try my hand at that kind of stuff. It'll be fun. Fun? Nah, I'm no good at writing songs and stuff. Trust me, nobody's expecting to see you of all people spitting bars. W what's that supposed to mean? Ugh, you're so clueless. Come here for a sec. What? what? Whisper, whisper. So, you just gotta get your, um, creative juices flowing again, right? Yeah, yes, that's right, but it's easier said than done. Inspiration doesn't come crashing through the roof just like that, you know. 
Uh, then how about we go outside? Poor Aldo. Hmm, that might not be a bad idea, but wondering about aimlessly won't do. Don't worry about that. Just leave it to us. We'll take you someplace good. Oh, well, sure. Awesome. First stop is on the western side of the village. Why are you talking so funny, Aldo? How long are you going to keep singing your words like that? Oh, he's singing. Ask Amy. Stranger danger. I did not realize he was supposed to be singing. That makes a slightly more sense, but I'm not going to sing, so it's still going to just sound terrible. I like these little thingy mabobs in the window. They're very pretty. Oh, time to go to the bridge. I like the bridge. It is fancy. Woo! Look at that beautiful mountainside over there. What do you think? There's nothing quite like standing at the edge of a bottomless pit to get those juices going. According to Amy, anyway. Not necessary, Aldo. Aha. Aha. Wait, aha. Well, this is certainly out of my comfort zone. Maybe a little too out of it, but here goes nothing. Oh. Oh. Feeling any different? I? I think so. M my heart is beating faster than an unbridled horse in a frenzied b bid from for escape from activi captivity. What? Uh, uh, I'm afraid of heights. That's why my, my legs are trembling so hard. A any moment now, and the abyss will take me. But now I, I actually think that death by falling down the side of a giant ravine might not be so bad after all. Indeed. Ha ha ha. Oh geez. No, no, no. Why didn't you tell us earlier? <laughs> he's, having a, he's having an attack over there. Damn it, Henry, you should have said something before you started hearing the call of the void. Well, I didn't want to turn down what could be, potentially be a terrific opportunity to feel something new. It didn't have to be a life-threatening endeavor, though. But thanks to that near-death experience, I believe I have tasted something quite special that I wouldn't have found elsewhere. You've thought of something you can use in your songs? I have indeed, a poem about exploring the mental labyrinth that we call fear. It's not at all what I wanted to write now, but it's something I can use later, I guess. So Amy's ravine plan was perhaps massively off the mark, but not entirely a waste of time. Exactly, so thanks for that. Now on to the next arresting stimulus. All right then. Where to now, Amy? Although you already forgot that you said we would try the mine next. Man, your memory is just terrible these days. You're determined to keep this up, aren't you? Which mine, though? Okay, the first mine. Da, 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 da. To the first mine! I wonder how far we have to go into the mine for the uh, bard. Probably not too far? Yeah, not too far at all. Oh, oh how very intriguing. Until now, I've never taken the time to get out and visit the mine. Shame on me. Well, the place is filled with monsters. Hardly the kind of place you'd willingly visit. At least not by regular people's standards. Wait, that probably means we shouldn't have brought you here. I mean, nothing. I mean, we're here to protect him. Worry not. For to do so would be both unfounded and unnecessary. <laughs> Had I not come here, I would never get to feel this ambiance for myself. Okay, how's it feel? Aldo, can't you feel it too? The softly swirling dust and dank. Word of madness in the air that their squirming snake-like splendor of a marriage so sweetly tempts. I think I read that wrong. The sensa sensation that this creeping stillness and dancing shadow are, moment by moment, worming away at your very soul. Why do humans fear the dark so? Moreover, why is the man who abandons himself to the pursuit of the answer a fool? Huh? No, fear not the dark, my friend, to embrace it, nurture it, and reap its fruit. That is all the abyss demands. I, th I think we're just, I think we're just driving him insane. Are, are you okay, Henry? Let us partake of it here and now. Come, Aldo, praise be to the darkness. Let the feast begin. Henry, what the heck is wrong with you? Sharp intake of breath. Hey, <laughs> guess I'm like that. That's not how it works. Huh? What? What was I doing just now? That's what we want to know. You just started coming out with some really weird stuff and scared the heejeebies out of us. 
Hmm, I see. I might know what caused that. Are you okay? What happened? Wait a minute, don't tell me. Yes, I am, in fact, afraid of the dark. <laughs> oh no, he's vibrating again. I knew it. This is why I told you, you have to mention these things to us ahead of time. But, but I just couldn't say no to you guys and waste what could be an exciting new opportunity. I guess with the limited abilities of the models, they're like, this is the best way to show him having a complete breakdown because he's scared of the dark. Sigh. Is having a screw or two loose uh, by a chance? Is having a screw or two loose a requirement for bards by any chance? Can't read today. Never mind, we should focus on getting you out of here. Oh, don't you worry about me. Just a little longer and the power of the dark will be mine. I almost tasted. Hehehe. <laughs> yeah, no, we're leaving now. I can relate to the bard, though. I'm scared of heights in the dark as well. Where to next, my friends? I'm actually rather excited to see what else you have in store. Amy? I guess the forest, maybe? You know, Henry, I was wondering. Would the poem you're trying to write happen to be something that makes you feel all warm and gentle and kind of fuzzy inside? You've seen right through me, haven't you? And it's settled. I know precisely the place for that. And guess what? It's right in the middle of the village. Really now, that does sound interesting. Huh? Hey, wait up, you guys. Although it's, it's really your fault for just standing there while they walked off. Oh well, it's not his, it isn't his fault he's a little slow. Time to continue helping the bard. Ooh, the pretty flowers. Here we are. Oh ho. If I'm not wrong, these are the flowers Sylvia planted herself, aren't they? How'd you know? I honestly thought you were the type of guy who'd walk past them without noticing. Ouch, a little harsh, don't you think? But I guess you're not wrong. My poetic genius does not exempt me from man's predi predisposition to tiring of one delight after another all too quickly. Perhaps then we are all the more obliged to revisit former pleasures and to seek to draw from them amusement anew. Go on. Oh, but how many an obstruction precludes me from doing so. The inspiration is so close, yet it is, it is as if some devious imp continually plucks it from my reach the instant I make to seize it. Zounds, I'll never conquer the devil at this rate. Oh, maybe we should try another different location. I think you're a little too fixated on the physicality of the flowers. Excuse me? Hey now, I know what you're trying to help, Amy, but telling a bard how to do his own job is crossing the line, don't you think? Well, what do you see when you look at those flowers, Aldo? Me? Er, let me think. I see... I guess I see something beautiful thriving thanks to Sylvia's painstaking love and care. A representation of her kind nature, in a way. That's it! What? Where? If there were a hole here right now, I would cast myself into it with gusto. I can hardly call myself a bard if I restrict my interpretations to the physical and ignore the beauty that exists beyond. That is it, I say. What emotions... What? The emotions from which these flowers were given life and strength. That is what I have been seeking. Breathe, Henry, breathe. And there it is. There it is. Without exaggeration, the brightest, most striking flash of inspiration I have ever had. There's no time to waste. I must immortalize this brilliant, overwhelming passion in a melodious verse at once. Now, where's my quill? That is not the direction of your house. Uh, all's well that ends well, I guess. All thanks to you, Aldo. I didn't really do anything, but... Well, whatever. I'm glad that's the end of that. Henry seems happier now, too. He sure does. Doo -doo. Exciting. Are there any other quests in the village? Are you able to see? Okay, you are able to see the map. I'm gonna make it large. Because when it's small, it goes completely behind my camera or my face cam, so you can't see it, which is a pity. Um... We, oh yes, we were trying to make a lantern. Actually, two lanterns is what I would really like, but one lantern is fine for now. I need five more copper ingots. I'll just make as many as I can. Okay. Oh, and I should make as many iron ingots as I can as well, because we need those. Okay, 80 iron ingots. Good, good, good. Uh, I don't think we need a brick right now, but we do need... Okay, we can make one lantern. Lantern received. Don't 
don't have enough copper ingots for a second lantern, but... Um, how rested are we? I think we're okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay, time to head back into the mine and light up that area that uh, we couldn't get to before. Hopefully there is something there. Mine, mine, mine. I'm not gonna go to the upper level right now, but I am gonna grab everything on this level. Because I want everything. Everything shall be mine. I'm awkwardly clipping off the top of my head. But now I'm slouching. Okay, nope. We don't need you to fight them, Pope. Pearl. Tiramis has it in hand. She's also getting pretty close to level 80. Which is max level. Very exciting. Unfortunately, that does not help with getting her um, skill. We need to advance the story for that. Okay, we need to go this way. Oh, under attack again. <laughs> Kill those little dudes for their gunpowder. And also because they were attacking me, which is most uncalled for. Collect more iron, because we'll need a bunch of iron for lanterns. I think the uh, smelter thing? Or furnace, the furnace. Goodness, we're gonna need so many resources. No wonder Melina makes this much easier. But we will persevere, because that is all we can do. But actually, we will we'll go down, light up that last place, and then I say light up that last place. Where is that place? It's here somewhere, right? Okay, that's that's one where we can't. Oh, okay, it's at the bottom of the other mine. I think is the issue. Goodness, I can't remember where anything is. Oh, which reminded me. I was gonna ask earlier, but I totally forgot. Uh, but I gotta leave the mine first, because there's a new banner. We can do a pull on it if we if you want. We don't need to though, because we have it's an it's in another style for a four-star character, and we have her four-star version. So given time, we can get the another style. It it's uh it's um just a matter of collecting treatises. It can take like a couple months, but it's not too difficult. <laughs> you mean, but gambling. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we, we, we could farm it, or we could gamble. We could gamble on Chio AS. It's probably pretty good, because she's new. New characters are usually good. I mean, sometimes new characters tragically get outdated really fast, or just aren't the greatest on arrival. I don't know if that happens to too many, though. The only one I can think of is Runa AS. I don't know if she was ever particularly useful. I mean, I've never- I say I've never used her. I didn't have her until very recently, and I still don't use her. Cause, I mean, I could have had her, but I didn't want to use my chance scripts on her. Because that felt like a waste. Gotta get out of the mine, because we, we can't do a pull in the mine, because the mine is a dungeon. It's like a dungeon, but it's not a dungeon. It's very weird. It's like it exists in a weird in-between space. Come on, let me out. Oop, 78, only two more levels to go. And Tiramis will hit max level. Okay, let's open up menu. Uh, I was gonna say I don't know what's in the inbox, but I do. It's um, rewards for uh, the time mine for building, uh, making things for the first time. Star Dream Encounter. Well, that's still up. It must be ending soon, right? Oh no wait, this is the weapon manifestation one. Okay, that's why it's up. The other one is gone now. These are all paid things. Uh, wait, is that one paid? Paid, paid. Okay, this one is not paid. There we go. This is the one we can pull on. This is the character that is rated up. I don't know if her... Sorry, I have to look at if her regular version is rated up. There's so many five stars. I don't think her regular version is rated up, just her um just her new new version. That's a slightly higher chance, as in like a one percent chance 
of getting her. So, you want me to pull on this banner? I'm so close to 10,000 gems though. Ugh. It's okay, we'll have time to save up more. There's also these banners, which we're not gonna do. <laughs> Dang, those are good odds. There's some of these. These are characters that got manifest weapons. We have Claude. We don't have Iska, Dewey, or LeClaire. We also don't have Hazuki or Hismana. We don't really need any of them though. You always vote for gambling? Okay, we'll do a gamble then. Time to spend a thousand of our stones to see if we get GOAS or whatever else. We got four NAS last week, so I suspect we're not gonna get anything too interesting today. Got the blue robot. Uh, pink antiquity girl. Four star. Oh, it's just four star Rufus. I'm sorry, Rufus, I don't care about you. Red robot. Four star Lulu, but we already had four star Lulu, so it doesn't matter. Myron. New, apparently. Turquoise robot. Yellow robot. And this should be the last one. <gasps> we got Nagi! We got Nagi! I really like Nagi. I mean, we don't really... At this point, we're already almost done with the... Oh shoot, it's in Japanese, so you can't understand what they're saying. I'm Myron. Let's say I'm an adventurer, roaming the land and solving problems as I go. I prefer not to be bound by a single location, just wandering wherever is more my style. I like how red her hair is. There's something about you, you're kind of a strange one. How about it? Think you've got room for one more on your journey? See, look, she looks cool. Why can't we have her? At five stars. Nagi! We can finally do Nagi's quest. I'm eating, so please wait. That was delicious. Sorry about that. I'm sorry, I'm gonna talk over her Japanese a little bit. I'm the squid called Nagi. Did I say something strange? See, gambling always works out. Well, we did get Nagi. I mean, four-star Nagi, but Nagi nonetheless. You want my power? It's no trouble as long as you give me something good to eat. She really likes to eat. Okay. You know, we may not have got Chio AS, but we did get Nagi. Four-star Nagi, but Nagi nonetheless. There's something over here. What is it? What is it? It's a quest. Sickness and in health. Marlo seems unusually troubled. It seems he wants to do something to help his friends celebrate. See, why can't why can't we make Mayor Marlo come with us on our adventures? I imagine, you know, I, it would be. I imagine they would all be. Well, not all of them would be useless. I imagine Hilda would actually be useful in combat, but like he'd probably be useless. But that doesn't mean I don't want him to be a, use, a playable character anyway. What's wrong, Marlo? Need help with stuff around the village? Oh, Aldo. No, not quite. Although I appreciate you offering. I'm just thinking something over. Can I ask what? Sure, you see, I received some wonderful news from two good friends of mine recently. But I haven't the faintest idea how to properly congratulate them. <laughs> That's great, Marlo. If there's anything I can do, to. No, no. You've done so much for me already. Besides, this time I want to figure things out for myself for once. Sure, if you prefer. That's some determination you have there. The offer still stands if you need it, okay? Thanks, I appreciate it. Appreciate it? Appreciate it. Everyone here is busy getting things ready, but feel free to go check in on them if you like. Will do. Let's see. I think I'll go see Henry first. Yeah, I want to keep advancing the timeline to like the next big point where we have to collect resources and stuff so that I can do that um, between streams. Henry! Dot dot dot. Ran. Everything okay, Henry? 
Oh, it's only you. You had me worried there. The couple I know or I know well are to celebrate a, a very happy occasion soon. I'm in the middle of preparing a surprise for them. Actually, Marlo said the same thing. What's the good news? You don't know? Terry and Sylvia are getting married. They are? It's hardly a surprise. In fact, considering how long they've been together now, I'd say it's about time. Terry and Sylvia. Feels like it was only yesterday they first met. I can't believe it. Time waits for no man and eventually outruns us all. Although, I suppose the wise man who once said that didn't account for those like yourself who seem to never change. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Anyway, you said you were putting together a surprise for them just now. That's right, a secret surprise. They can't know about it, especially Sylvia, or they'll make a big fuss about it. But it's their big day, one of their biggest, and as their friend, it wouldn't be right if I didn't make a big deal out of it. Don't you agree? I get you. I'm sure I'd feel the same way if my friends back home were getting married. Need a hand with anything? No, that's all right. This gift should come entirely from me. Why not see if anyone else needs your help? I suspect everyone's going to want to do it themselves. Okay, will do. But if you change your mind, just say the word. I'll see what Hilda's up to next. And Aldo mentioning his friends back home also makes me sad that out of all the all the Baruoki people, um, Darunus and Nomar have never gotten a five-star version. I just want five-star Nomar. I don't care if he's bad. Where's the quest? I guess it's outside. Sometimes I go into a building to start the quest and then it turns out it was actually outside the building. Yeah. An explosion. Hilda. Cough splutter. Phew, you you're a real dark horse, aren't you? Guess I shouldn't have worried after all. What kind of explosive are you making? Ooh, is she making a middle size explosive? Oh, Aldo, I can't tell you that. It's a secret. It isn't one of your regular wares, then. Oh, Aldo, please. You really think crafting a regular explosive would give me this much trouble? Don't worry, your curiosity will be satisfied once the wedding's underway. Oh, is she making fireworks? Okay, anything I can do for you in the meantime? No, I'm more than capable of finishing this up myself. Thank you, though. Haha, <laughs> that's what everyone around the village has been saying. It's not too bad. It's not a bad change, that's for sure. What about Rebecca? Have you seen her yet? She completely denies it, but I can tell she's been feeling a little down lately. Women's intuition can pick up on subtle changes like that, you know? It'd be nice if you could see what's wrong. Of course. All right. Let's see if Rebecca's home. My cat is snoring. Well, one of my cats. I have several. And one of them is snoring. He does when he sleeps. But you probably can't hear it, which is a pity because it's very cute. We're here to help you, Rebecca. It's strange just how oversized and empty this house feels now. It was like this when I first moved in here by myself, but for some reason this space feels even bigger and emptier now. I think that's only natural, Rebecca. You're pretty much Sylvia's mom and all but blood after all. You think so? I'm not sure I've done enough for her to deserve that label. Especially now of all times. Whereas the rest of the village is already preparing her wedding gifts, here I am with no clue what I should do for her special day. Being the county bumpkin, county country bumpkin that I am and all, I'm no good at thinking up a fancy present, let alone making one. Hmm. That's it. I know exactly what you can make for Sylvia that nobody else could. Something nobody else could make? Absolutely. How about... Or is he gonna go whisper, whisper? No, they're not even whisper, whispering. Mm-hmm, I see. That does seem like something she'd be happy with. Thank you, Aldo. I don't know what I would have done without your help. I'll get started on it right away. My pleasure, Sylvia. All right, I should get back to Marlowe's. Good luck. Let me out. And then let me in. Hello, Sylvia. Aldo, take a look at this. Look at how many flowers have started growing now. I hope that one day I can fill all of Horai with them so that when people hear the name of Horai, they think of this flower. Well, that's my dream anyway. That aside, everyone in the village has seemed busy with things he here for a while now. They seem like they're preparing for something 
I'd like to do something to help if I can. I don't know why, but the text was going kind of slow. Actually, I should go. I should go talk to Terry. See if he isn't. He probably doesn't have anything to say because he's a merchant. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Oh wait, we can get the iron felling axe. Yay! Just what I wanted. Ooh, and a ladder. It's my lucky day. I'll get two whole ladders. <gasps> Three whole ladders. I should not be so excited about ladders. Okay, back to Marlow now that I've spent all of my string on ladders. Oh, my hair is poking me. Hello there, Marlow. I like that he's got like a suit of armor just sitting there in the background. Only a few more hours until the wedding, right? Sigh, yes, and the stage fright's setting in. I was thinking I'd have the perfect speech ready by now, but I just, it's hopeless. It's not, Marlo. You don't need to be perfect to make Sylvia and Terry happy. You just need to be you. Everyone else is just doing what they can to congratulate them in their own way. That's what you should do, too. Thanks, Aldo. If your offer still stands, will you help me practice until the real thing? You really are a worrier, huh, Marlo? Of course, I'm happy to help. Okay, well... Time skip. Ooh, bug sounds. Mumble, mumble. You'll be fine, seriously. After all that practice, you can't go wrong. And in the end, all that matters is showing how happy you are for them. You're right. I'm making it a bigger deal than it needs to be. It'll be fine. My thoughts exactly. Now go get him, tiger. It's almost time already? You gads, I'm feeling the nerves now. I have a lot of trouble reading the bard's words because he's fancy. All done. The dress fits beautifully. You've really outdone yourself, Henry. The trouble he must have gone to to make to making this, I can't imagine. Oh hush, everyone is simply overjoyed to be able to get involved in the festivities. All you need to worry about tonight is showing everyone how pretty you look and enjoying every minute of it, okay? Now you sit tight a minute. Do, do, do. It's Terry! We didn't get to speak to him between. I wanted to, but most tragically as a merchant he doesn't get to talk. Except when he uh, has a quest thing. She's all done changing. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Great. All right, you two. Come on over. I think she got a fancy, unique sprite for this event. Oh, you look absolutely stunning, Sylvia. You've got me all jealous now. It was truly a pleasure to create a piece fit for your special day, my lady. I like that they're doing their wedding at night with no lanterns or candles. Ahem, without further ado. Do you, Terry, take this woman, Sylvia, to be your lawfully wedded wife? I sure do. Do you, Sylvia, take this man, Terry, to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. If anyone has any reason to object, speak now or forever hold your peace. Do you swear to love each other in sickness and in health? Till death do you part, and for, and for the forever beyond. I do. Now for the rings. Uh, r rings? I don't have a ring or anything. Terry should have thought that one out. I've made a lot of things in my life, a lot of things in my time, but I never stressed over any of them as much as I did these. I hope the sizing's right. Oh, Rebecca, sniffle. It's perfect. You can thank me by promising you'll never give her any reason to cry, all right? Uh, of course. On my life, I'll never once make her regret giving me her hand. 
You've grown into a fine young man. Still, no need for acting formal with me. From today, you two are a team. That means you'll laugh and you'll cry together, sometimes because of each other. Things will get tough, but just remember to stop and take a look around you when they do. You've got your two-man team, sure, but we'll all be here for both of you, too. Oh, Rebecca, sniffle. When I was all alone, with no friends or family to speak of, you didn't hesitate to take me in. And then you raised me by yourself and treated me as if I were your own child for all these years. After everything you've done for me, I'm sorry I'm leaving you like this. But I will always be indebted to you, um, Rebecca, or I, I mean Mom. Come on, Sylvia. It's hardly farewell when we live so close, is it? But knowing how fragile your health is, I admit I'll be worried for, your, for you nonetheless. Don't worry about me. It's not so bad these days, and I won't let it get in the way of vi the village life. That's my girl. Be good to her, Terry. I will. You have my word. That's what I like to hear. Oh, oh dear. I think there's something in my eye. I just need a moment. What's that up there? Ooh, fancy. A beautiful fireworks display for a beautiful couple. Great job, Hilda. You've really turned this place into an amazing community, Marlo. Only with your help, Aldo. As Horai grows, I hope we'll get to see more happy moments like this, too. I'm sure they did. Huh? I don't think that made sense. I don't know if we'll ever be able to thank everyone enough. Yeah, we'll have to think of something to something real special for each of them. Sylvia, this is the happiest day of my life. I can't wait to spend the rest of it with you. Neither can I, Terry. Till death do us part and beyond. It's like Buzz Lightyear, only he says to infinity and beyond. I don't know why that's what came to mind. That's questionable. That's a lot of fireworks she made. Quest complete. Complete. Yes. Now what? Okay, there we go. Okay, now we finally get to work on bigger bombs. Hey, you've come at a good time. Really, what's happened? I realized something when I was making the fireworks for the wedding. If I use that blend in the right way, I can make even stronger, stronger explosives. Why'd it take me this long? What kind of explosives are you going to make? Maybe... That kind right there that's already sitting in the background. I dream of making explosives that can be heard all over the world. Well, I'm not quite there now. But these should be much more powerful than traditional explosives. They're probably lucky she lives in the past when she can't make atomic bombs. Because she definitely would. Does that mean they could demolish boulders we couldn't previously? Oh yes, indeed. That would really help. The mine has depths we haven't been able to get to. Can we use these explosives right now? You're very keen. Well, bring me the ingredients and I'll make some for you. Gotcha. Okay, let's get the new explosives and see what's behind this solid rock face. A new formula bomb has been added to Hilda's shop. <laughs> Hilda Oppenheimer. <laughs> I mean, she she really does like her explosions. It's, it's not just anyone who sees their new house and goes, you know, I want to blow that up. Steel ingot. Okay, I think that's what I need the furnace for, is so I can make steel out of... I think iron and coal? Uh, come on, come on. Iron furnace. Let's make a bunch of iron. I don't think that's enough iron. It's not enough iron. We need 30 iron. Wait, let's see. I can't do math very well, so uh, we're gonna do this in a way that I can understand. Okay, now we need 10 more. <gasps> we can get 10 more, just barely. Unfortunately, we're out of iron, so that's not helpful. But we'll build this. Okay. Yeah, now we can build st build steel ingots. 
steel ingots. Okay, we need iron ingots and coal. Okay, so we're gonna go grab some iron and then we'll be able to make a bigger explosion. And we'll finally be able to go to the depths of the mine. Find out what's down there. Because apparently all this stuff I was looking at up here does not matter. But I guess it did pass the time in the village so that the uh, quest could advance because we needed to do the whole Sylvia and Terry quest line before this could happen. I say the whole Sylvia and Terry quest line, I don't think it's over yet. We're only in part two, I think. Well, it's not really, it's not really divided the same way other, other episodes are. Uh, I do enjoy the timeline though. I probably enjoy it a bit, a bit much for how I was gonna say for how grindy it is, but then again, I keep fishing when I don't need to. I think I just enjoy collecting things. I say I think, I know I enjoy collecting things. Let's collect as much iron ore as we can. And we'll probably need some of this like gunpowder and stuff too. So killing these guys will work out as well. I like collecting the weapons. I like collecting the enemy drops. I like collecting resources. I like collecting cats. I like collecting characters. So I'm, I'm not allowed to spend money on this account. I spend money, too much money on my other account. No money on this one. Free to play only. That's why I just pull on whatever banners, you, when it, well, whenever the new banner comes up. And then I ask if you want me to pull on it. And then you usually do, because you like to see me gamble, Grimthorpe 101. But, uh, it'll be a while before we run out of the story stones and stuff, since we don't pull too often. Got a little, a little cap of face there. I see that. I see the little cap of face. We can also start the cat, cat quest line. Um, I don't know. Do we even have Bivet? I don't think we have Bivet, which is unfortunate because. Wait, no, we have Tiramis. All is well. All is well. You see, the thing is, once we get Garu, I will do the thing I like to do. BRB, got to grab a delicious coconut and tapioca bun. Goodness, that sounds amazing. I'm very curious about this coconut and tapioca bun, I must admit. It sounds delicious. Also with those wheels, uh, the steel wheels, we can finally make the mine cards work, which I think are just kind of a fast way to get to the lower levels of the mine. When you don't feel like walking <gasps> through the mine. Unreal delish. Very excellent. Here, cat. The cat is eating. I don't know which cat because for some reason all the cats decided to come hang out with me. Okay, I guess now we'll just uh, travel back to the town because we should have enough iron. Is it iron? Yeah, iron. Hopefully we have enough iron to make some copper. Not copper. That's not how this works. Hopefully we have enough iron to make um, steel. We needed, I think we need five steel ingots and we need five iron per ingot. So we'll see. Do. Hello, Rebecca. I need. Let's see. Iron ingot. Okay. Let's make a bunch of these. A nice even number, like 20. That will make me happy. Okay, now we need. Dang it. Five more? Oh, thank goodness, we can make five more. Goodness. The resources. It's brutal. It's getting brutal. But we must persevere. That is all that we can do. Persevere. Also, I need to stop using all my copper ore because I need some for this. And I suspect that I will need that, um, coal. I don't like that the brick sticks around even though I'm pretty sure... I'm not sure if I need the brick anymore, because I think I've built all the buildings at this point. Make explosive. Nom nom nom. You've got your delicious coconut and tapioca bun now. <gasps> we can make a new formula bomb. We need bomb, resin, gunpowder, steel ingot. Ye? Very good, very good. Okie dokie. Now we can go down to the bottom level of the new mine and explode it. But first, I should actually probably- Nah, we got food, we're good. We're good. Don't worry, those rocks are the same rock. 
I mean, I know they use the same resources a lot, but I usually don't particularly notice because um, they look alright. Explosion. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I like Celasa's eyebrows. I say that almost every time. Every stream, I'm like, ah oh yes, Celasa, I love his eyebrows. Can't really see them that well, but very cute. Can't understand anything you say, Rekka, because, well, I mean, first of all, I can't really understand any Japanese, but then also I can't really understand your voice. Okay, we need to go this way. And then we will go- dang it. Stop attacking me, I'm trying to go adventuring. These enemies are quite inconsiderate of my desire to go explore the mine. long last we have another explosive I say at long last we got our first explosive like two hours ago <laughs> but you know it was like a whole two hours to get to explode this and a lot of it was just kind of wandering around the mine Solasa's Solasa should probably be lower down because he's like s occupying the same space as Rekka there okay nothing that way what? What is our explosion unearthed? Uh, more of the same, it appears. Come on. Let us go. Let us go. Ooh, we need a better hammer to get that. It's shiny and red. I want it. Presumably we're gonna need a whole bunch of steel. We have Rika place the bomb because we won't care if she blows up. Popero was originally placing them and I felt bad for him because he's so, he's so small and sweet. So, you know, I had to switch to someone who can handle explosives. It's true though, she, she is one of our many healers. We've got another one right there, in the back line. I shouldn't blow that up immediately because I might need, I might need my small explosive for actual progress. Every time I see something I can blow up, I just immediately want to blow it up. I may be a little too fond of exploding things. Maybe this is why I wish Hilda would be it could be a uh, a companion character so badly. I just wanted to throw bombs at the enemies. It would be really fun. I'm telling you, people who make uh, another Eden, uh, they don't need to be they don't need to be excellent. I will still love them. I mean, I don't know if I'd use them that much, but I would love them. Do there's copper. We don't really I was gonna say we don't need copper, but we do. We need a hundred copper ore. So I can get more coal. And I keep turning it all into ingots and forgetting that I need ore. Okay, we can continue on down. Let us let us continue to the bottom of the mine. Okay, second layer. Some more iron. Very nice. We need a bunch of that. We need a bunch of everything. We need so much of everything. It's, it's a little overwhelming, but I will do it. I will do it. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. What's this way? Okay, another small explosive. Okay, hold down. This is probably where we need to go, so I'll explore that later. Down we go. I want to uh, get to the next part of. Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say I want to get to the next part of of the timeline so that I can have something to work on or work toward. Tinguri, Oshi. Something concrete. I don't like when I I kind of get stuck by story stuff, and so I feel like I can't really um, progress it too much between streams. I like to be able to farm things between streams. Is that guiding light hammer? I assume it was. Okay, we'll need another big explosive for that. We'll need a ladder for that. Explode that. What is all this area? This area is apparently completely unnecessary, but it exists. Why does it exist? I mean, I guess to mine. Poporo is so small. Oh, 
We ran out of MP. Okay. Uh, Popero. Killed them all. He actually does hit pretty hard because he's got a decent weapon. I say hard. He doesn't really hit that hard because he's not that tough. But time to eat food. Food. You see, in a dungeon, you c here, actually, I forget. You can do dream. You can pull on dreams here. You can't do that in a dungeon. I don't know why. I'm not sure why you can't do that in a dungeon. Um, for some reason, you can't gamble as much in a dungeon. Okay, apparently this actually goes somewhere. But it is not where we are trying to go. So we must head back to the uh, quest marker. I just wanted to explore what was over here. Okay. To the quest marker. Dang, gonna need two more big bombs. That's gonna be... It's gonna be a lot of iron! A lot of copper, a lot of gunpowder, a lot of bombs. Actually, I think it's just one... One small bomb per big bomb? I don't quite remember. It doesn't matter. I will have to do it, whatever it is. Although this is a dead end. Hmm? What's this? A notebook from an old villager. It's tattered, but some of it looks readable. Er, right, let's have a look. A new cave was found on the other side of the bridge. I went to look at it today. Surprisingly, it had better veins of ore than the mountain next to the village. If we make it our third mine, it will contribute to the village's development. Oh no, the next pages are stuck together with mud. Hmm, what else can I make out? Hmm, it looks like ore was not the only thing in the third mine. We have disturbed something that should never have been disturbed. Everyone, know, everyone who lives in a mining area eventually learns the lesson of the Kaza Doom. Village is finished, but I will stay here until the end. As the mayor of this village? The mayor of the village. Would that be Marlo's father? He might know something about this. Better go and ask him. Ooh, back to the surface. Uh, I always forget how slow the map loads. Yeah. I don't think I installed this on my SSD. I should have installed it on my SSD. Maybe it would have run a little better, but I think it's an issue for everyone, so. I think it's actually an issue with the Steam version and not with where it's installed. Marlo! I need to speak to ya. I need to speak to ya, lad. I say lad, he's probably older than Aldo. Aldo's like 19. Hey Marlo, have a look at this. Of course, but why do you sound so troubled? Wait, is this? Yes, I'd recognize it anywhere. It's my father's writing. So it was your dad's notebook. What does this say? A third mine on the other side of the bridge. Could the bridge he's talking about be that crumbling one on the outskirts of the village? Yes, it's crumbling now, but it used to be a long and beautiful bridge. I'm afraid I'd completely forgotten about it before I saw this notebook. You work night and day as mayor, so I'm not surprised third mine, and better veins of ore to boot. Sounds promising. Dot dot dot. What's up, Marlo? I'm worried about the thing in the third mine that should never have been disturbed. Yeah, it did say something like that. Clearly we need to go kill it. I wonder if that thing harmed these, this village in some way all those years ago. What should we do? Should we give up the search for the third mine? No, no, we shouldn't. This is a problem that we must face if this village is develop to develop. We can't just ignore it. So, what should we do about the bridge? We have no choice but to rebuild it, but we're never going to achieve that overnight. Let's consult the village. It's not something I can decide on my own. Got it. Yeah, this is what I wanted to get to. This is what I wanted to get to, because I know this, this takes a while, I think. Doo -doo -doo. Look at all the villagers. I love them. Especially Hilda and the Bard. And Rebecca and Terry and Sylvia and Marlo. I, I love them all, especially all of them. And there you have it. Dang it. Okay, sorry, I had to talk to my Alexa. So you want to build a bridge all the way to that distant bank. It will be a difficult task, so it pains me to ask for your help, but... Hey, don't talk like that. We're friends, aren't we? 
Yeah, this is no time to be holding back. Well, I prefer breaking things to making them, but if the, ma if the mayor's for the idea... The villagers came together to help the mayor achieve his dream. Sounds like the making of a good song. If it weren't for you, mayor, none of us would enjoy the life we have now. I don't know what I can do, but I'll help in any way I can. My fellow villagers. I am so grateful. I'm so glad to be building this village with you. But even for me, this bridge is going to be a real challenge. A single look is enough to see that the height and distance involved, they're not problems we can solve with ropes and logs. It looks like we'll need to get a master carpenter. Most of the carpenters in Miglance are working on repairing the castle right now. That's true. Let's look for one in Unigan. Mm, time to go kidnap a carpenter. I mean, um, persuade one to come to the village and help. I mean, it's not like they need to stay and work on the castle. It'll never be fixed. Well, one day. I can dream. I can dream that one day it'll be fixed. But as far as I'm aware, by chapter 90-something, uh, it is still not fixed. And we haven't even reached chapter 30. So that is most tragic. Is this what I want? This is probably what I want. Is this the tavern? No, this is the inn. I don't care about the inn. I'm sorry, whatever quest that is, I do not care about you. I am here for the time mine. Kitty! Look, it's another bird. He looks the same, but he is not Henry. Tragically- oh no, he turned into a different man! Barkeep, another milkshake. I need another. Bring me one. Gordon, it's almost lunchtime. Shouldn't you take it easy? I can drink whenever and whatever I want. I'm paying you, aren't I? Tsh, all right then, but this is your last one. Hey, Barkeep, do you know any good carpenters? Good carpenters. You should ask the people repairing Miglan's castle. I doubt the overseers of the works will let them go, though. I guess you're right. There's a village southwest of Baruoki that intends to build a big bridge. Hey, Barkeep, is Gordon here? He's drinking milkshakes over there. Look, your friend's here. Time to go home, Gordon. What? Have you been drinking milkshakes all day again? Shut up. I've already done all my work, haven't I? Yes, but your contract's not over yet. Oh, give me a break. Why do I have to do more work than everyone else? Everyone's working hard. Everyone wants to see the glory of the great Miglant's palace restored. Stop it. You're not gonna get some great loyalty from a carpenter on day labor. And I've made up my mind. About what? I'm gonna go to that village that guy was talking about. You heard that? You didn't look capable. This is nothing special for me, and I've always had sharp ears. And I'm fed up with folk around here. Come on, where is this bridge? I'll have it built in no time. Hey, wait. He, he ran off. Hey, can I really take this Gordon guy with me? Yeah, to be honest, he's a bit much for us. Okay, but can he do the job? I guess I should ask Terry to get him somewhere to live. Gordon became a villager. Okay, we gotta build one more house, apparently. I thought we were done. I didn't remember that there was a carpenter. I'm sorry, Gordon. You were not memorable. Come on. Come on. Load, please. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Here we go. Terry, you gotta build Gordon a house. Oh, hey, Sylvia's here now. A new life with Terry and his mother is going really well. This village has become my home now, make no mistake. At some point, living here just started to feel right, you know? I feel as though this village has a strong yet gentle aura. An aura that makes you feel at home. Wait, Terry has a mother? Maybe she meant her mother? Alright, what do you want me to build? Ooh, we unlocked a bunch of things. Okay, what do we need for the carpenter's house? Wooden wall plates times three. No, I don't 
don't need the steel mining hammer right now. Floor tiles times 10. <sighs> so close. Glass window times two, brick wall plate times one. Brick, okay, we need 30 bricks. And then I just need to farm a bunch of quartz sand, apparently. So. Did I say I needed 30 bricks? Eh, it doesn't matter. Bricks! Oh, we can only have three bricks, apparently. And I was prepared to be very excited about that. Okay, I guess that's where we'll stop with this today. I will uh, work on collecting up those resources and building his house for next time. And then uh, when we start building the bridge, that'll probably take a while too. So we'll probably start something else uh, then. Uh, it will it will be an adventure, I am sure. But uh, thank you. I hit the microphone. Thank you for coming, Grimthorpe uh, 101 and Coffee Drinker and anyone else who came by. Uh, I will see you again whenever you're here again. I mean, I will be here again tomorrow, but I don't know if you will be. Goodbye!